While the snow continues to melt, the rains continue to fall, the rivers continue to rise, we take to the skies, trying to find higher ground. Welcome to the Fly JBS channel. Well, it's the morning of March 31st, 2019. And just like in 2017, the flood predictions continue to rise. I went and made a video when it was just supposed to be moderate flooding, not even supposed to threaten the airport. Then they predicted a crest of 26 feet, which is two feet below where it would flood the airport. I still thought that the airport was going to be fine. I, I went and did a video on it and said, hey, we've hit the crest. I got home and immediately realized, uh, checked the, the national weather forecast uh, predictions one more time, and it said that no, it was going to rise to 27 feet. By that point, I started checking uh, a little bit more carefully because at 28, a little over 28 feet, my hangar starts to flood. Well, this morning it got to 28 feet. So away we went, pulling the airplane out of the hangar, and I'm taking it to much higher ground. As we taxi past the hangars, one can already see water covering the ramp. There is more water visible as soon as I get to the runway. As I build up to take off speed and lift off the ground, one can see water on both the left and right sides of the runway. At the far end of the runway, one sees white buildings on both sides of the airplane. All of these buildings were threatened by the rising floodwaters. Just beyond the buildings is a farm field which is totally flooded. Trust County Traffic Sky 5382 Delta turn in uh, downwind, be headed out to the southwest San Trust County. Leaving the area, I made a pass or two over the flooding river to check out more of the rising waters.
as I leave St. Charles behind, I also leave the rising floodwaters. Nothing but the budding green ground of early spring below me now. This trip would not have been possible yesterday, at least not by a uh, private pilot without an instrument rating. It was uh, pretty rainy and uh, the ceilings were very low. Visibility was not very good, uh, very, very wet. And uh, I was just hoping that the weather forecast would be correct in terms of having nice sunny conditions today with a, a favorable tailwind uh, to get us to our destination. So far that's played out. Salem Airport is about 100 miles southwest of San Charles County Smart Air, Airfield. The attraction to Salem as, an, as kind of a uh, storage place for the uh, airplane during the flood comes from the fact that one, it's at 1,200 feet, so it, that airport will not flood, Salem will not flood. But it, it also has to do with the fact that my wife, Michelle, her parents live in Salem and they can check the airplane at any time. It doesn't hurt that they have real inexpensive fuel there as well. Not much of an FBO, we'll have to tie it down and tie it down pretty good, but I think everything will be uh, nice and safe. One of the airports near where we live did have space available, but they wanted to charge a fee for the tie-down spot. And the airport that I'm taking it to, while it charges for uh, tie-down spots, it's like a monthly charge. And so it's it's almost like not a charge, it's like $10 a month. Well, we've begun our descent. A nice smooth 500 feet per minute descent. And in uh, a few minutes, uh, we should be uh, getting close to Salem Airport. There is no sign of water as I make my final approach at the Salem Airport. The approach is nice and stable with no turbulence as I near the ground. The touchdown is nice and smooth as I stay on the center line for most of the runway. Over the next few days after the landing at Salem, the river finally reached its crest, the highest point of its flooding. It reached a depth of just over 29 feet at Grafton, Illinois, the point we used to measure if the airport would flood or not. Amazingly, the flood water only reached halfway across the taxi ramp and did not actually flood my hangar. Normally, my hangar would experience several inches of water in it at that flood depth. Still, it is always better to be safe than sorry, and I am very glad to have moved the airplane out of its hangar. Salem traffic sky, 5382 Delta, clear of 35, Salem. We tied down the airplane as best we could because we knew that it would be a couple weeks before I could return to Salem. The ratcheting tie-down straps are better in my opinion than the old-fashioned ropes. I use a canopy around the fuselage to protect the airplane as much as possible. 
By April 12th, the flood water began to recede, and I was able to fly home. I was hoping to make another video on that flight, but the night flight did not provide an opportunity for good video. The airplane is now in its hangar, and all is well. Thanks for watching and flying with me today. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to the channel. Flying a small airplane is lots of fun and sharing my experiences through YouTube videos is just part of that fun. Until next time, may you find blue skies and tailwinds.